TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And uh, right now you got a mixed bag out here. The Dow's off 52 points, about uh, less than two tenths of a percent to the downside. The S&P's off three points. That's 0.06%. Otherwise, all indices trading the upside. But the spot volatile index remains above its 50-day exponential moving average. And that's really the uh, key level to be watching as we come into uh, today's close. That level, by the way, is uh, 19... Uh, I'm sorry. That level is 1760. And if the spot fix closes above 1760. The nods favor. We see the ES mini pull back into the 4452, 4467 level. Um, okay, good. I do have my indexes that we can go take a look at. So give me a moment to uh, do. Oh, you're not even seeing the chart, son of a gun. Uh, what are you seeing? You're just seeing my face. Well, um, let's just go to the indice charts out there. You can write down that number that I gave you on the uh, uh Yes, on the uh, spot volatility index. As we take a look at the cash indices out here, we can see that the uh, Dow is trading into a swing point. That's a swing point from, what's that date? I don't know why my cursor is having such problems out here. Uh, I think there's some calculations going on. This looks like a swing point from August the 19th, and it's going to close inside. There's no idea whether it's with volume or not, but as long as price closes in there, price could easily go test the bottom. If we look at the S&P 500. You've got a TD9 count top. Price may be testing its or moving back towards its breakout level at 44.50. TD9 count top, Rhodes momentum indicator top inside the NDX 100, but it's really just been a sideways move out here. The Russell TD9 count top, price below that oscillator and change line, price could be targeted the 2169 level semis here having a strong day they are up above the oscillator and change line out here let's just expand out this uh, chart uh, back at its highs no topping pattern whatsoever so the semis they still look like they still look strong like bull that ain't no bull the dow transports out here just having an inside day that typically signals a uh, continuation of the move that was in place that would then say a move lower spot volatility you can take a look at it and it's trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. Finally, the XAU, it still is maintaining, still is maintaining its Rhodes momentum indicator buy signal. As long as price remains above that red line, and it's just above it by the uh, a narrow margin, it's still above it. Uh, you still have that bottoming signal. Hey, folks, stay tuned for an amazing show, your favorite polar bear with the power trading hour. He's up next. Have a fantastic Friday, and I'll look forward to seeing you again on Monday. Take care. The reality.